Here, I'm going to do a little shoot and review of this Crossman 760 Pumpmaster BB slash pellet gun today. So if you've seen any of my gel tests, uh, this is the BB gun that I always use to calibrate my gel, my 10% uh, Nox Ballistics Gel Tin for this uh, gel test. Now you can see here on the box, it is advertised up to 700 feet per second with 10 pumps, and that is with the alloy pellets. Okay, back here it goes into a little more detail. Pellet velocity up to 700, but that's always for the alloy pellets that are lighter, and not for these lead pellets. You can see I got two different ones here we're going to try. So I got the standard Crossman pointed. Wow, this thing needs to focus. Standard Crossman uh, 177 cal. I forget how much these weigh. I'll find it and uh, put it up here in the video. And then I got some of these H&N field target trophies. And this should yeah give the weight there. Dang, this thing will not focus. 8.64 grains. And these are more of, obviously, by the picture, a round nose instead of pointed pellet. So we'll try those out and some regular Crossman uh, BBs there. Do a little accuracy test on this box over here. Uh, but anyways, uh, the pellet velocity you're going to advertise up to 700 feet per second. That's going to be with your alloy pellets that are not lead. They're a lot lighter. Um, so you're going to get a lower velocity with the standard lead pellets. Um, you see here the BB velocity, they're saying up to 645. So I would chrono these for you guys if I could, but my chrono, uh, I need to replace it. It doesn't work correctly anymore. I can barely get any reads off of it, and when I do, uh, they're... Extremely erroneous, so uh, unfortunately I can't do that for this video. Still got to replace my old chrono. Um, but I can tell you from chronoing this for the gel test, uh, it says up to 645 with the BB, so that would be with the maximum 10 pumps. Um, I'm getting on 8 pumps, what is it? It's like 580-ish usually, so that's usually what I do uh, when you calibrate the gel. You're supposed to shoot a 177 cal BB at uh, 590 feet per second, give or take 15 feet per second. But you're supposed to do it at a distance of like 10 feet, I believe it is. It might be 7 yards, but I think it was 10 feet or whatever. Um, so since I come in uh, 580 with um, 8 pumps there, I usually just shoot from a few feet back. That way it brings, you know, if you're supposed to do it 590 from 10 feet back, um, that means by the time it travels 10 feet, it's probably in the 580. So I just shoot it on eight pumps, which gives me an average velocity of 580 feet per second. Uh, and I just do it from like two feet back from the block. And I can't remember, I have chronoed some pellets too. Um, I did a little experimenting off camera shooting the pellets on the block and whatnot. And I want to say that those came in like low 500s. It was like 580 on eight pumps with a BB and the pellets were like, I don't know, 520 or something like that. They're heavier. Anyways, I was waiting for a day where I didn't feel like going clear out to the range and doing a bunch of recording, so we're just going to record this at the house. So I figured I'd just do a quick review of it. I'm not going to start doing BB guns and stuff. I just figured because I have it and I use it for the gel test, we do a quick review. Um, they advertise 1,000 shot uh, BBs. You flip this panel out, and then you can fill this whole reservoir up here. I think it might even go back in here. I'm not sure. It's supposed to hold 1,000 BBs, and they just rattle around and make noise, so I generally don't keep any in there. Not to mention, if you were shooting pest, you would want to use a pellet and not a BB. Um, so, cocker here. Put in your pellet. Make sure it feeds straight. Close it up, and you can pump it up to 10 times. You got your adjustable sight ramp here. Um, just standard black sights. And I don't for elevation this is slightly off at least with the crossman pellets i forget which way but if you wanted to adjust the i said elevation if you want to adjust the windage like if it shoots off to the left or the right you can actually just pivot this sight on that barrel it's a pretty tight clamp on there but you can pivot it you might have to use like pliers or something you pivot a little bit one way or the other to adjust your elevation and um for shooting like 10 15 yards actually this lowest setting works about perfect so um, I'm not sure how far you could go with these sights and still be dead on without being low. Um, but considering it's good out to 15 yards or so on that bottom setting, you're probably good for 30, 35 yards minimum on that highest setting there before it'll actually start shooting lower than point of aim, if not further. Back in the day, I had another Crossman, and it would actually shoot 40 yards on the top setting and be dead on. 
So obviously being a BB gun, it's all plastic. It's cheaply made, whatnot. The only real complaint I have, you know, um, other than what I know to expect for the price and the fact that it's a plastic BB gun, the pump is squeaky. Um, I'm pretty sure I could oil something on there wherever it's squeaking and get it to stop squeaking. I just never mess with it because I never really shoot this thing other than for the gel test. But I did notice that mine squeaks, but I could probably fix it with a little bit of oil. Well, that's enough chat. I'll get the shooting here. So I'm going to do two groups I, sometimes with air guns but the pump ones um, different amount of pumps will give you different accuracy like usually they're not quite as accurate with a full 10 pumps as they are with like say six to eight um, so I'm gonna do six pumps which will also give you pretty decent velocity because it's usually the first few pumps that give you most of the velocity and then each one thereafter only adds a little bit um, so on all these, I'm going to do BB and then both variations of pellet, six pumps. We'll be shooting at 10 yards. I'll show you that in a second. And then for these top ones here, I'm going to be doing 10 pumps. And then I might try some farther range shots as well after we're done with this. All right, so it may not look like it. I'm just going to be shooting from right here. But that is a measured 10 yards. protection. I shot the wood right there and it bounced back and hit the siding behind me. Not with very much force but enough to where it would have really hurt if it hit my eyeball. The second one I just shot that garbage there I need to get rid of. Make sure it didn't bounce back at me. Right there's where it hit. I'm surprised it bounced back but this is some pretty old hard aged wood. Anyways, we'll quit messing around here. I'll get some safety glasses. We'll start shooting these groups. So I'm going to go BB, then Crossman pellet, and then that H&R, whatever it said, the rounded pellet in that order. So BB, Crossman, and then the other one. Um, orange stickers first, six pumps. And then we'll do the same order with the black stickers uh, with ten pumps. I'll go from left to right. So you guys aren't sitting here for 20 minutes. I'm probably just going to uh, either fast forward or cut and edit the video so that each shot only takes a few seconds. Let's see what we did here so again they're all six pumps that's not too bad for bb's obviously that would open up more at farther range but there's with bb's 10 yards crossman pellets 10 yards and then there's with those other ones i got a flyer there maybe it was a messed up pellet i don't know so now we'll do the same thing on the top row um, but we'll do it with 10 pumps and see if the accuracy suffers any So I failed to notice this until editing this video. Um, that shot from that first group there, top left black circle, just went up there by the top left corner of the box by those arrows. I did not see this until editing the video. Even upon editing, uh, I barely saw it. Um, so yeah, we had a huge flyer there. All right. 
It's got two in the same hole with the BB there. There's crossing pellets, look like two in the same hole again. And then there's those other pellets. So it looks like the accuracy, yeah, it looks like it's actually slightly improved, obviously this one, because you got that one flyer there, which again, could have been a defective pellet. You know, they're lead, they're soft, could have squished them up or whatever. This group's a little tighter than this one. This group's also a little tighter than this one. So thankfully, this actually seems like it's more accurate with a full 10 pumps than it does on a lesser amount of power. All right, now we're gonna try it twice the distance at 20 yards. Now I'm actually gonna leave the sights where they are. That way the shot placement will be lower. That way the group will hopefully be separated. And we'll just do the same thing again, but then obviously this time I'm only gonna I'm only gonna use 10 pumps. You know, we already settled the accuracy debate anyways, and it seems better on 10 anyways, plus extra distance, you're gonna want more power anyways. Um, so with it being pretty much dead on at 10 yards with 10 pumps, I don't know, maybe we'll be an inch low. So which ones should I go for here? Uh, we'll go for the top ones because looks like some of these are lower. So hopefully aiming for the top will drop low and our group will be down here just below the first group. So we'll go BB crossing pellet and then that other pellet. Now, generally speaking, at a minimum, twice the distance, you should have twice the size group, but usually it grows beyond twice the size at twice the distance because you have other factors like wind playing more of a role and then bullet or pellet in this case instability plus it's harder for the shooter to see the target at twice the range so at a bare minimum we should have twice the size of groups from here um, probably a little larger Oh my god. Wow, what a difference another 10 yards makes with a BB gun. That's insane. So what do we got? We got a BB clear over here, a BB there, and a BB there. So you can see that's an awesome, awesome, absolutely massive group there with the BBs at 20 yards. It did alright. 10, but man, 20. That's like a 8-inch group. I mean, these two are up here, so... I'm gonna guess there's probably something wrong with that one maybe it should have been up around here but let's see what these other ones look i don't know because when you look at these pellets too so here's the crossman pellets we got one two three that's about three three and a half inches up and down string there from 20 yards and then over here with these pellets we got one two three so again about a three and a half inch up and down string there oh, that's no bueno <laughs> so these three circled here in red are were the actual impacts i pointed at one of the wrong ones but still three to three and a half inch up and down string so that's unfortunate uh with those results i couldn't possibly recommend this it's a real shame too because i used to have a uh i think they call it the 7000 now or i can't remember it was a more powerful a larger pump version of this it was black with a gold trigger i'll throw it up whatever it was and that thing was real accurate i used to shoot blackbirds with that at 35 40 yards and hit them nine out of ten times um so yeah this thing by comparison looks like absolute absolute garbage i mean three and a half inches at 20 yards it's like you'd be missing a pop can from there quite often and that's no good so i guess she's Pretty decent out to 10 yards. You'd probably be okay out to 15, but beyond that, 20 yards, as you got a three and a half inch group at 20 yards, so that's about shooting pop cans at least. Um, you're gonna be getting 50% hit ratio at 20 yards probably or less. But it serves the purpose I bought it for, for calibrating the gel, so, so thankfully that's the only thing I bought it for because I'd be really upset with that if I was actually wanting to shoot this thing. I was gonna say, I came over here to check the box for a warranty, but uh, it is a one-year warranty because if it was like five years or something like that, I've had this over a year, so uh, I would definitely be sending it back to them like, hey, this thing doesn't shoot worth a crap. Uh, give me another one. So you do got that. Shoot it when you get it if you're going to get one of these. 
and if yours shoots three inch groups i would think that generally i mean it should shoot better than that so i'm, I'm actually going to go watch some videos on this now and see what kind of accuracy other people are getting because that to me is just not acceptable and like i said i've had crossman and daisy pumps back in the day and they were way more accurate than that so i don't think that accuracy at 20 yards is acceptable but anyways that does it for the review if you have one of these uh, let me know how yours shoots in the comments below thanks for watching and i hope to catch you on the next one